Oh, I feel like I'm being summoned. People are looking at me. Well, looks like I'm not commenting with <laughs> me again. See, I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, a lot of Smash 4 low tier life to me felt like, um, like you were pressing like the same one or two buttons over and over again because that was what you had. That's what you worked with. Uh, and your mix-up game was pretty weak. Uh, but in this game, like, the low tier doesn't feel like that at to nearly the same degree with most of them. A lot of characters feel more well-rounded, and you can use most of your most of your tools available to you. But yeah, Corrin Ness, uh, I actually believe this is a pretty good matchup for Corrin. You know, the disjoint, uh, counter actually hits Ness's up B, uh, the PK Thunder 2, and will destroy him if he gets hit by that counter. I'm not sure if it's the whole way through or just part of Ness's PK Thunder 2 because he is invincible uh, during a portion of it. But I've seen that just destroy Ness. And I've. Uh, I would be very worried being off stage against this character as Ness. Now, that being said, uh, Ness has very good gimping ability of himself, as you can see with that PK Thunder 1. Uh, his smash attacks on ledge are obviously scary, uh, his combos are great. So, by no means is this saying that Ness can't do anything. Ness is a very strong character in this game. Alright, let's see what he goes for the edge Gordon. Uh, just ends up trying to position himself correctly, but gets the pin, so back to 0-0, zero, zero, two stocks. Fine. PK fire, uh, not SDI, does a ton of damage. Being hit by that move feels so bad. Uh, you get just rack, everything just racks up when you get hit by that. And like now, Foreign Master at 71%. And now, uh, EFX being a nest, not really having good approaching tools. Corn also having good anti approach tools. Definitely happy to sit back until he lands a PK fire. But now we're at that percent where back throw at ledge will kill, so... Corner Masters start playing a bit more scared. Up air through the platform will kill. PS2 is a very low ceiling. Alright. And the only thing that makes Ness so much better than his Smash 4 counterpart in this game is... Aerial PK Fire has so much less land lag. And just, I think less land lag in general. It's just a lot better. Alright, and he just gets the up B, doesn't get the tech. That slowdown can make it hard for people to tech sometimes. Uh, also, just being a very strong, fast move. It can be weird for people. And then that bounce off sends him at a brutal angle. Let's see if uh, Corrin Master can adjust. I would like to see the counter. Uh, if Ness has no options, if he can't air dodge to ledge, counter should work good, to the best of my knowledge. And then you're countering a, what, like 25% move. So it just destroys them. But yeah, I did not see the stage pick. I think it was... Alright, Smashville. Uh, interesting. This is where I expect Nest to counter pick. But maybe Corrin Master just wants to use that platform to the best of his ability. And what's making it rough for him right now is just the the difference in damage output. He's not quite juggling him to death, uh, but when EFX gets a hit in, he's he's just getting all that PK fire damage into whatever. But as I say that, juggled and then edge guarded to death. Let's see, Corn Master is turning this around. Now let's see if he can keep the juggles up. This is the adjustment that he needed. Let's see if he can keep on doing it. Alright, and he is not letting him land without taking some damage at least. Which is what you need to do against Ness. Sometimes it can be harder than, than it may seem due to Ness's great air dodge. Uh, longest in the game from what I'm aware. 
All right, you can PK fired three times into in the bat. That is rough. Uh, and it's because he's getting PK fired on the ledge. He wanted to keep going in, which then just meant more PK fires. And down throw, no combo. Corn with the giant Nair combo breaker. And now he's back to getting juggled. You can go for a pin on ledge. All right, no, keeps it safe with the F tilt. Alright, that hair dodge is going to kill him. Surprised he would go for that, but nerves get the best of us sometimes. Alright, back to juggles. This is looking very good for Corn Master. I don't even think that the Sage really helped with this so much as it's just him adjusting to the Ness matchup and thinking about what he needs to do, what his win conditions are in this particular matchup. Alright, and Corrin having that disc point not going to get sniped by the bat with his landing aerial whiffing. Alright, three PK fires, two of them hitting. But EFX is back on stage safe for now. Oh, goes for the pivot grab. Maybe some Smash 4 muscle memory, but gets the back throw anyway. Okay, I can see now that uh, he's liking this platform right now for the up tilt, being able to scoop it. And then putting Ness in those juggle situations that are getting him so much damage. Alright, down throw. PK fires expecting the Nair. Good call by EFX. Not taking any damage or being put into a bad position. He is on his last legs for this game, though. Man, the F tilt's taking it. I have never... Never before this match have I seen F tilt kill with this character. Not in this game, anyway. Alright, so... Heard of Yoshi's ban and something else, which is kind of surprising. Uh, I know it's not a popular stage by any means, but if you win on Smashville, I feel like they're so unlikely to take you to Yoshi's, because uh, they're such similar stages. Uh, the blast zones and the platform height are pretty similar. I suppose for that up tilt, uh, it could be that Korn's up tilt does not hit at the lower points uh, in the in the base platform or in the top platform tire. But I still feel like that would be almost as strong of a counter pick. All right, Pokemon Trainer is the counter pick, contesting Korn's range with Ivysaur. I think he started Ivysaur too, which is interesting. Yeah, he did. Alright, so just wants to do this range battle just straight up. He's not trying to rag damage with, with Squirtle to start. That being said, he's fighting with his normals right now. Uh, there we go. Side B's coming out. But playing, both of them playing very safe. It took us 15 seconds to get a neutral interaction that actually hit. Alright, he's got him off stage. Uh, EFX is not challenging very hard off stage is what I'm seeing. Which might just be coming off a of Ness. But if you switch to Ivysaur, you gotta be willing to edge guard. Alright, down air on ledge not hitting. Corrin's upbeat does go at a slightly different rhythm than other characters. I think it takes about 17 to 18 frames before they start moving. Uh, which can be a bit awkward for some people to hit just out of like muscle memory for other characters. So I've seen multiple down smashes from this Ivysaur and I'm curious as to whether those are inputs or he just has the secret sauce. Uh, gets punished for landing down here and trading. And Corn Master taking the first stock, but let's see what EFX's Charizard can do. Uh, he is at kill percent. Uh, he's been throwing out these back airs now, so it seems like he's ready to stick this out instead of trying to play Squirtle and switch into Ivysaur. Up throw, not even close to killing. Charizard's up throw going at that 70 degree angle where it's not really kill if you DI it down in a way. But the down smash will. And he's sticking Charizard. He really does not seem to want to play Squirtle in this matchup. But we have dragon fights going on right now. Okay, run up jab. 
Throws his jab, not the beast it used to be, but still very serviceable. And he's been playing this stock with Charizard very well. Uh, very surprised to see his Charizard. I think that's how the startup frames of an up -B. That's crazy. If he tried to edge guard that with the armor of up -B After seeing it go high. But yeah, I'm, he is not switching. He is happy to play this matchup. And Charizard does have the range, so... It's not completely unreasonable. And the side beast take... Classic, classic Flare Blitz from Ledge. But yeah, even after that, he's playing this whole game without touching Squirtle. And it's working out great for him right now. And every hit he's taking, because Charizard has that heavy damage, it's putting him in a worse and worse position. And the side B catching his runaway, taking it at 54. That is a strong move. That is crazy. Ugh. 